Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn about employees. Mostly in the different documents, you must have seen the employees and employee code, so you select that from there. So, for that purposes, obviously, for HR purposes, functionality, you should first add each employees and fill out the uh, employee code, uh, card. So, we go to um, tell me option and employees. So, you can obviously make the new employees. Um, obviously card or you can choose the uh, already made one so I'll just pick up this one just to explain so it says uh, journal so journal is like journal information about the employee name and obviously what was the job title etc and the contact details the address side shows about the head address history or address whatever address you want to put there for this employees I think any page or number or private number or extensions you can do put it there Administration side, which is important for a company, is employment date when the, when the employment started. Well, this because when started working for you. Status whether it's active or inactive or terminated. If it's terminated, you gotta put the details there as well. Why? Well, when it was terminated. Inactive date. If you wanna put, let's say, customer sick or not, you can put that there. You have to make these calls. Obviously, um, if you click there, it will show you how many calls we got. So for causes of inactivity codes, you should have these codes. So it could be five, twenty, ten uh, for over a month. So it can't be sick for anything. Termination date. Obviously, when you select from there is terminated. So you put that uh, termination date as well. Runs for term code. Obviously, that's as far as uh, the date when the employee employee was terminated due to retirement or dismissal, for example. Whatever it is, you should have um, that. Obviously, you need to make the link the list as well. Employment contract code specifies the employment contract code for the employee. Um, statistic group code is um, it specifies the statistic group code to assign the employee for statistical statistical purposes. Resource name. Um, that shows uh, obviously the resource number for the employees and salesperson purchase code. That's the one we normally use, and mostly people don't know where that comes from. And the personal side, date of birth, social security number, union code if the customers, if this employee is part of the union, or payment side, obviously that's customer's uh, payment side details. Most importantly, that employee posting group. So you should have enabled um, employee posting group as well. Posting group. So I'm only, only got one here. So, but you, if you want to uh, add another one, you can just go to the new employee posting group and let's say you put uh, AA and you put 30 or anything you put the account from there. Sorry, uh, table of accounts are 3430. So that's all. For example, we just put other expenses. One, for example. Um, so obviously, when you make them, uh, obviously, when you consult uh, your consultant or you set up Business Central, you go through proper ch channels and guide what the employee posting groups are. I just made it for for the time being. For example, you've got um, employee templates as well. Just want to mention basics of that as well. So you got these two already made, so you can click it there. It will tell you what's that for. Uh, it's just for the distinction process of the role, uh, how, how, what kind of role it is employee is going to have, and what kind of templates you can use. If you want to uh, add a new employee, you can just use these templates. So you can put the basic details for description number series and male or female, and then all the basic information. Uh, but we got administration and IT2 at the moment, you can click um, new and you can make another one. So that's all done from the employee side. I just want to uh, go to the other side, um, which is this side. And I want to mention if you want to take a photo of that, you can take a photo in port export or you can delete the photos from there. Another thing I want to mention is uh, in journal journals, let's say if you want to pay to an employee. You select payment journal, and from there you can select obviously whichever journal you want to use a cash or journal or payment uh, bank uh, recognition. So let's say if you got um, uh, you pick up a payment and you want to make it to an employee, and 
account number, whichever account number is available for you, so you can do that. So let's say a uh, bank account, you want to choose bank account and you want to pay £50 to this employee. And you've got further details, obviously, for normal as general jobs. You want to pick up from there, you can do that. So after that, obviously, you want to pay £50 to this um, employee for anything. If you, for example, he's purchased something for the company or expenses or anything, you can do that. Or you can choose different options from there. Um, for different purposes, obviously, if you're pay, making payment to the customer or, or you want to refund a customer or paying a vendor or credit memo, finance charge memo, or reminder, you can do that from here. So, after that, just simply post it and then we go to the ledger of entries. So, to, to, to see this payment where it's gone, so you have to go to the actual employee ledger entries, and that's totally different than normal ledger entries. And you can see we've entered uh, this uh, ledger entries to new pounds there, and you can see uh, from there as well. You can unapply entries if you want to do that, or apply entries if there is anything you know, according to this employee. Uh, if, if it's matching, or you want to pick it from there, or you want to do anything from there, you can do that as normal uh, apply entries. Okay. So hope you understand the video about employees, employee call, card, employee tablet, and employee posting group, or and or it paying to an employee through payment journals. Thanks for watching.